Yes, sis. We have seen how to use the plot function to place one curve on a figure, but there are times when we will want to show two, three, or more plots at once. In this video, we will explore various methods of doing that and how to properly label using a legend. The first method is to use one call of the plot function with multiple sets of X and Y inputs. The plot function is very flexible and can accept any number of paired vectors as well as the appearance modifiers that go with each one. Let's look at this example. First, I create the data to plot. The independent variable is velocity, so I declare that as an incremented vector. Then I use velocity to compute kinetic energy, Ke, and momentum, mom. Now I get to the key part, making the plot. The first three input arguments plot Ke versus velo as a red dashed line. The next three input arguments plot mom versus velo as a black dotted line. Even though velo was the x vector for both, we are required to explicitly define it for each line. Next, I add the x label. As usual, I increase the font size and include units. I don't use a y label here. Why not? Momentum and kinetic energy have different units and different meanings, so there is no good y label I can use to describe both of them. Instead, I use a legend to label and distinguish between the two curves. Because I have two curves, I need two legend entries. The entries are text, so I create them as character arrays using single quotes. The first legend entry corresponds to the first curve that was plotted. The second legend entry corresponds to the second curve that was plotted. Be careful to not mix up the order. Unfortunately, this legend overlaps with some of the plotted data. Better would be to move it to the upper left. We'll see how to do that in the next example. This slide shows an alternative way to place multiple curves on one figure. It also shows a way to adjust the legend location. Here, I create the same data as before, then I plot the first curve alone, which happens to be Ke versus Velo as a solid magenta line. Here's the new command, hold on. By default, the hold setting on a figure is set to off. This means that any new plots would overwrite or erase the previous plots from the figure. I don't want this, so I switch the hold setting to on. Now the old curves will remain no matter how many new curves I add. So here I plot the second curve, which is mom versus velo, as blue asterisks with no line connecting them. Anytime we have multiple curves on one figure, we should use a legend, so I add that here. Again, the first legend entry corresponds with the first curve plotted, but at the end are two extra words. What are these? They are a name value pair that sets the location of the legend within the plot. The default location is northeast, which means the upper right corner. Here I want it in the upper left, so I use the location northwest. Following the same pattern, we could have placed the legend in any corner, in the center, or even at locations outside the white space in the plot. Another useful tool is the subplot function. This creates one large figure window, the gray space, that has multiple slots for individual plots, the white spaces. In this example, I start by creating three arbitrary data sets. Then I use the subplot function to carve out the space I want to use for the first plot. The 3, 2 indicates that I want to have space for three rows and two columns of plots. The 1 indicates which of these six slots I want to currently activate. The number of these slots reads like a book, left to right, and then top to bottom. After choosing a specific slot, then I can make the plot. I do this with the standard plot function, and the result is seen here. Then I choose a different slot and make a new plot. Then I do the whole thing one more time. Generally, we would fill in all the available slots. Some are left blank here just for demonstration. When I place labels, they only apply to the currently selected slot. So, notice this Y label is written on the final plot, but not on the others. All of these tools, whether multiple curves on one plot or multiple plot windows in one figure, can help you make attractive charts that powerfully communicate your message.